like you. You got to do it well. I like you. How was everybody this morning? Everybody okay? I heard it great. And hold on. Since you're doing so great, let us stay in the green those around us. Here we go. Also, inside of your Cypress Heart, you'll see uh, that it's Shoes for Orphan Soul. Uh, we're coming up on the conclusion of our collection for that. Uh, and our goal is 100 shoes, so we're going to bring them uh, right over there uh, by next Sunday. Uh, would be great. Again, new shoes, please, no new ones. Uh, that, at least that's the way it always went in my family. Um, <laughs> you'll also notice uh, a little write-up about Vacation Bible School. There's a sign-up uh, board over there if you would uh, be willing to volunteer uh, for us. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to do like a, a shameless plug that if there are no workers, there are no, there is no vacation Bible school. Um, and so we want to be able to minister uh, to the children in our community. Uh, we, we've got to have people that are willing uh, to work. Uh, and so um, we really need some, some volunteers. You can see the write-up about that and see how all that plays out um, and on dates and everything inside of the start. Uh, next weekend, uh, we will be holding revival services on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, you can see inside of your Cypress Heart uh, how all that plays out again. Uh, starts Saturday at 4 o'clock. There'll be a session at 4, uh, a little fellowship time, and then another session, and then Al uh, will be here uh, in here during the Sunday school time for a question and answer session. If you're interested in that, uh, he'll be preaching in the morning service and then again uh, in the evening service. And so looking forward to that. And then also uh, another uh, important thing going on in uh, not just the life of the church, but in the life of our nation, uh, is National Day of Prayer, which is this Thursday. Um, there's a prayer guide inside of your Sacred uh, about how you can pray uh, for your country. And um, But at, at noon uh, at the um, courthouse, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, noon uh, at the courthouse on Thursday, they're going to have uh, the National Day of Prayer gathering. Um, David said if you want to uh, make sure you want to get a parking spot close, uh, get there before noon. Uh, so that you're not having to park, you know, miles and miles away. Uh, so that's what's coming up. Uh, also, if uh, you are going to eat with us on Wednesday night, fill that tear, uh, the tear out section out, put it in the offering plate when it comes by later this morning. Or if you are a guest, um, or if you have questions about the church, or uh, just you make a decision at some point during the service, if you would fill that other side of that little tear out section out and put it in the offering plate when it comes by, we would definitely appreciate that. So once again, uh, good morning. So, uh, would like to mention, if you do some uh, crisis preparation work, this is the weekend for that. Hurricane season is coming. It's a factory weekend. And so, um, 
like if you're going to buy a generator, it's time to do it because uh, you can get that generator tax-free up to three thousand uh, dollars if you get it in the next couple of days. So there's some flyers that look like this, two-sided, in the hallway there on the table. And if you're interested in all the things that you can get tax-free, you can look at that sheet. Today, as we uh, look forward to the revival uh, and the services on Saturday and on Sunday, I want to read to you from Titus chapter 2, uh, verses 11 and 12. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all men, instructing us to deny ungodliness and worldly desires and to live sensibly, righteously, and godly in the present age. Let us have some firm foundation. Here we go.
we come here on this beautiful day and we say thank you for all the ways that we see you at work and all the ways you invite us to be involved in what you're doing. Lord, can we say thank you even for the fact that you're doing so many things as a part of your plan for us, your blessing toward us, your love for us, that we don't even see or realize. Lord God, we know that everything that comes to our life, you use it, even the bad things, for the good of making us more like your son, Jesus, and we love you and are called according to your purpose. And Lord, we thank you for that. We pray, Lord God, that you would be with us as a church family, that you would help us not to just have meetings called revival, but that you would meet us in a powerful way to bring about what true revival really is. Help us, Lord, to understand that today as we go through your word. And we would respond today in any way that you would call us to. For someone who's here today that's never received Jesus as Lord and Savior, they would respond and be saved. For those of us who are struggling in some area of our life, that we would find you are our hope and our help and the source of our strength to be anything that you want us to be. Lord, help us to love you in our obedience and in our witness. And we would thank you for doing this as you bring revival in the church throughout the nation, spiritual awakening throughout the land, for your own glory and for your kingdom's purpose, we pray in Jesus' name. Opportunity this afternoon to be in the midst of a good fellowship. Um, and it's great to have that church family with you whenever you're going through whatever life seems to be. But the greater thing to me is when we're in that valley, He's right there beside us. When we're on the mountaintop, He's right there beside us. No matter where you go, I love the old hymn, Lead the Only Land, Last and Awesome. We've said it before, but I just love the words of this. Leaning on Jesus. Here we go.
yes, it's this pollen. This finally comes. Anybody, can anybody relate to that? Yes, okay. Uh, so, you know, God does say make a joyful noise. So, you know, if that's all you got this morning, you go right ahead. You know, last week we celebrated the resurrection. And I wonder sometimes if we don't need to make Easter every Sunday. You know? We, and I know there are certain times we, we, we have certain things.